Hello world travelers and welcome to GeoQ, an app like no other. I'm one of your hosts, Chase. And my name is Sunny. We've been trotting the globe together for some time now. That's what led us to develop GeoQ. Yep, since we launched the GeoQ app, our global quest has gone to a whole new level. It's so cool. GeoQ gives us the green light to travel and it drops us in a completely new and exciting location. Then you get to help us figure out where we are. Because we never know where we're going until we get there. Once we land, you'll play a game to figure out our location and then hunt for a souvenir. And I love souvenirs because it's like you get to take a little piece of somewhere with you. That's right, and each time you help us find a souvenir, it unlocks a clue about our next quest. Now, before we jump right into all that our GeoQ app has to offer, we need to fill you in on some of our greatest travel hacks. And in case you don't know what a travel hack is, it's a helpful tip or trick that can help you when you're on the go. All right, to find out today's travel hack, it's time to play a game, and this one is called What's Missing? You'll see a picture with a bunch of travel essentials. You'll get a few seconds to look at them before one disappears. Then you'll guess which one you think is missing. Let's test your memory. What's missing? Awesome. Today's travel hack is to make sure that you don't forget your bag when it's time for takeoff. Yeah, because if you forget your bag, you're just going to be walking around in whatever clothes you can find, and you never know what the style is going to be when you land. Been there. Moving on, please. <laughs> you got it, Sonny. I've got my favorite travel tune queued up, and I say we sing it together. Great idea. Everyone, get on your feet. Now I'm ready to wander. Me too. Let's see where GeoQ takes us today. Grab your suitcase, my friend. It's time to go. Where are we? 
We need you to help us figure it out by playing this next game. Let's play sheep, panda, dog. You'll have five seconds to choose which animal you want to be. You can either be a sheep like they have in New Zealand, a panda from China, or a dog like you'd find in Mexico. If your animal disappears from the screen, that means we're not traveling to that country today, and you'll sit down. If you're ready to play, stand up and get ready, because here we go. Sit down if you chose dog. Sit down if you chose panda. Sheep wins. Today, you've landed in New Zealand. Location confirmed. Yes, we're in New Zealand. Good job, GeoQuesters. Good thing I'm not allergic to wool. I can't wait to find out more about this place. Good day, mates. How you going? That's just the Kiwi way of saying what's up. It's so good to see you, my fellow GeoQuesters. I'm Wand Around, and I'm here to confirm your latest location. You have landed your jandals on the Wop Wops of New Zealand. Though the native language of New Zealand is English, you may be surprised by some of the vocabulary they've created for themselves. Like jandals are what we call sandals, or being on the Wop Wops is another way of saying you're in the middle of the countryside. But why would anyone be way out here? Well, tending to their flocks, of course. That's because sheep outnumber humans three to one here in New Zealand. If you need to get around while you're out here, get ready to board your own personal kayak. That might be a lot of rowing, but over 33% of people own one, so all aboard. Oh, and you've come to the right place if you're afraid of snakes. This island is known as being quite the snake-free zone. No reptile house at the zoos around here. In fact, there's only one zoo on the entire island. But why would you need the zoo when you got all those sheep? With an average yearly temperature of 65 degrees, there is no need to pack a coat, but definitely bring your swimsuit. There is nowhere on the island that is more than 79 miles from the sea. Oh, and while you're hanging out by the sea, wave hello to the penguins because in New Zealand, there are 13 different types. That's more than anywhere else on the planet. What'll we even do with all those penguins? Get it? Waddle. The official sport of New Zealand is rugby. In fact, they won the very first ever Rugby World Cup. Now I know what you're thinking. Do they even have enough people to make a team? Maybe they recruit from the field. Could you imagine an all sheep rugby team? While that would be pretty awesome, I'm willing to bet you're not here to cheer on the Rams. I'm sure, however, you'd like to know where the souvenir can be found. Well, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It can be located at the coordinates, 36 degrees, 50 inches, four feet southwest of I'm gonna be honest, still not good at this coordinates thing, but I'm guessing you'll want a little more help than that. So of course, Wander Around has got you covered. Here are a few hints to get you started. This souvenir would love to share, but its coat really can't be removed. You count it when you're sleepy and snuggled it when you were a kid. Now those coordinates have been loaded into GeoQ. Check back in once you found the souvenir. One time I brought some candy back from Japan. It looked really cool, all packaged up. Uh, I thought it was candy shaped like crickets. But once I got home, I realized it was not cricket shaped candy. It was actual crickets. Did you try them? No way. I would have. Well, that's one of the reasons why we created souvenir badges here in GeoQ. So you never have to worry about getting a souvenir you don't actually want. They also help us remember where we've been, and when you find them, they unlock our next quest. All right, keep your eyes on the screen and listen out for us to give you the clues to find this week's souvenir. First up, clue number one. You can count it when you're sleepy. Hmm, I usually fall asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow, so I'm not sure about that one. Okay, clue number two. It can't share its coat. Coat, coat, who has a coat? Hmm. And the third clue says, you can snuggle it at night. Okay, you have a few more seconds to find it if you haven't already. Yell out what you think it is. It was a Q! 
cute stuffed sheep. Great work, GOQ users. Now that you found today's souvenir, let's see what Juan's got to say. Man, I sure do quest with the best. I knew you would find it. You found the sheep. Way to go, questers from out westers. Now, I hope you didn't have a bad time finding our furry little friend, but there's a reason I wanted you to find the sheep. So let's start from the beginning. Have you ever felt lost or alone? You'd think with all my questing, I wouldn't, but I sure have. The reason I had you find the sheep was because it's a great reminder that one of the names of God is shepherd. That's right. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. We're not actually sheep, but we're kind of like them. You know, we love to snack all day, and sometimes we just wander off. So let me explain. There was a guy in the Bible named David, and when he was younger, he was a shepherd. Shepherds were guys who took care of sheep by leading them to food in green pastures or meadows and making sure they had water to drink from streams. If a sheep wandered away from the flock, the shepherd would go find it and bring it back. Shepherds carried a long stick with them with a hook on the end called a crook. In the Middle East, where the stories we read in the Bible took place, there were some rocky, hilly areas. If a sheep fell between the rocks and the shepherd couldn't reach it, the shepherd would use the crook to help rescue the sheep and lift it to safety. Shepherds also protect the sheep from harm, like from wolves and thieves. Being a shepherd really helped David learn a ton about God, and he wrote all about it in Psalm 23. It's about how God loves us and protects us, just like a shepherd would with his sheep. Here's how it goes. The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me rest in green pastures. He leads me to calm water. Pause. Doesn't that seem great? I mean, who wouldn't want rest and a nice cold drink? So refreshing. Back to it. He gives me new strength. For the good of his name, he leads me on paths that are right. Even if I walk through a very dark valley, I will not be afraid because you are with me. Your rod and your shepherd's staff comfort me. Okay, okay, double pause. So get this, God gives us strength and he helps us know how to do what's right. And if we're going through a tough time, we don't need to be afraid because God is totally right there with us. I mean, is that a good shepherd or what? Answer, yes it is. Oh, where was I? Uh, oh yeah. You prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies. You pour oil of blessing on my head. You give me more than I can hold. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know I keep doing this, but this we gotta talk about. I mean, prepare a meal, blessings, more than we can hold? Sign me up for that, please. Oh wait, um, I don't wanna forget the best part. Let's keep going. Surely your goodness and love will be with me all my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Whew. Wasn't that great? You see what I mean? Just like a shepherd loves and protects his sheep, God does that for us too. God will tell us the right way to go and make sure we have what we need. And if we ever, ever feel scared or alone, we can trust that he's there with us. And now that you have a little sheep of your own, you can remember that God is my shepherd. All right, my favorite questers, I'll see you guys on the next trip. Until then, don't rest on the quest. Keep traveling the world. Trust me, it'll be worth it. That's really cool. When we're looking back on our time in New Zealand, we'll always have this stuffed sheep badge to remind us that God is leading us, protecting us, and giving us everything we could ever need. And next time you see a sheep, remember that just like a good shepherd takes care of his sheep, God takes care of you. Come on, fellow questers, say this after me. God is... God is... My shepherd. My shepherd. That's exactly right. And earning this week's souvenir badge unlocks a clue about our next quest. The place we're going to next has one river, and without it, the entire place would be a desert. Wow, it sounds like I'm going to need my sandals. Get it? Because deserts have <laughs> sand. Good one. Well, I guess we'll find out soon. In the meantime, want to sing another one of our travel songs? Yeah, stand up and let's sing together.
I hope you've had as much fun in our app as we have. That's all the time we have to play today, so let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and pray together. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to learn more about who you are. We're so thankful that you are our shepherd. Thank you for leading us, protecting us, and giving us everything we need. Help us to remember that you are always with us, and because of that, we can trust you with everything. We love you. Amen. See you all next week.